play the part of keeping you today we will discuss ductile and brittle materials here are a few examples of ductile materials mild steel aluminum copper brass bronze also you can add manganese lead nickel brass etc in brittle material we have famous example of cast iron concrete glass one more example can be the chalk that we use in the lecture halls now brittle material ductile materials can be stretched whereas brittle materials cannot be stretched post elastic strain is always greater in ductile material that is more than or say greater than 5% when i say post elastic strain it means after elastic limit has been crossed the strain is more than 5% so one thing worth noting here is that for this one for this say mild steel this post elastic strain is greater than 25% is greater than 25% in case of brittle materials where as you can see that the fracture point and the ultimate points are same this is not the case in ductile material and also here after proportionality limit has already been crossed the strain will be less than 5% so here is this one and this one are the major differences here you can say after proportionality limit and here after elastic limit it is greater than 5% it is less than 5% this is another way to look at ductile and brittle material and that is how the ductile material will behave during a tension test as well as a compression test and also how the brittle material will behave in a tension test or compression test it is pretty interesting you will uh, you will see here when we are performing the tensile test there the a tensile test or the tension test on say ductile material and i will take as mild steel you will find they are weak in shear and also the failure will happen due to shear strain and the most important thing is that there will be 45 degree with the axis of the specimen so if suppose this is the axis of the specimen this is the axis of the specimen and this is your specimen if i will go for 45 degree from both the sides so if i remove this part if i remove this part and this part so you will see there is a small necking formation that happens so necking formation is always dealing with is always uh, is always used with ductile material now as i said that pretty interesting 45 degree concept so there is cup and cone formation so this is the formation of cone and this is the cup which is formed this is the cup shape which is which will be formed so if you look at if you look at these angles on which on which the breaking will breaking phenomena will occur this angle will be how much 45 degree so cup and cone formation often happens with which one the ductile materials now coming to the tensile test when it is performed on brittle material you will see that they are weaker in tension so if suppose this is the specimen and if this is the load applied so with this axis the breakage will happen at 90 degrees so this will be the 90 degree angle on which the breaking of brittle material will take place so they are weak in tension and 90 degree to the direction of load this is 90 degree to the direction of load is where or how in the tension test the brittle material will fail now coming to the compression test in compression test the material the ductile material will fail 90 degree to the compression load often this phenomena of bulging occurs and they fail they fail at 90 degree and in compression test when you are performing this on brittle material there will be always shear failure and it will occur at 45 degree you would have uh, often seen this kind of structures so or crack that are getting developed in the walls of old buildings so these old buildings are made up of concrete are made up of concrete which is a brittle material and since the walls are loaded with say beams or often there is load of say other floors you would have seen the crack structures are developed in this fashion they are developed in this fashion they make an angle of 45 degree so sort of they are under compression they are brittle so you see this kind of structures getting developed now to sum up 
it is very easy to remember this is tension test this is compression test this is comp uh, this is again tension test this is compression test if suppose it is tensile for uh, uh, for a brittle material so failure will occur at 45 degree and if it is compression for brittle i will say brittle and ductile so 45 45 and here failure opens at 90 degree 90 degree so easy way to remember this remember this cross at 45 degree failure so this is line for shear this all failure will be due to shear and this failure will be either due to compression or tension so in my next videos i will be telling you more concepts often regarding strength of material i hope you enjoyed this video do not forget to like and subscribe my video thank you very much I just assumed I'd play it.